So Richard Branson is at it again, darn it. From the entrepreneurial mind that brought us Virgin Airlines and the Enterprise, the world's first commercial spacecraft, comes an idea that may change magazines and newspapers forever. Take a look at this. Yesterday, Branson launched Project, an iPad-only magazine sold at the Apple Store, and he called it no less than the future of publishing. The first issue of the magazine costs $2.99 and showcases the iPad's multimedia abilities. Okay, so we downloaded it onto, unfortunately, this is not my iPad. This is our producer, Kelly's iPad. You have to see, if, and of course, now I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, this is amazing. This is the cover of the magazine, and we've been playing with it all morning. It's some seriously amazing stuff. It moves. You can slide through the pictures. I could go on and on about it. Anyway, for an article on actor Jeff Bridges, background music plays as an animated image of Bridges spins and makes various faces. It's truly fascinating. And our Poppy Harlow talked with Virgin Group founder Sir Richard Branson about it all. We'll work with the iPad initially. Um, uh, it's a fantastic platform. It's literally exploding around the world. It enables you to do things with a, uh, a, a, a magazine on, on the iPad mm -hmm. uh, that you could, you could never do with a normal magazine on, this, on the stalls. So it, it, you know, bring, it brings the magazine uh, alive. Is the future of publishing in apps and not in physically printed products? Uh, Sadly, for physical, physically printed products, I think the future is in apps. Uh, I mean, for an advertiser, you know, Virgin Atlantic, as a, you know, with our, with our planes, for instance, if, if we advertise on target, um, we, we, we're going to be able to you know, take people into the plane. We're going to be able to let people hear the roar of the engines. We're going to let people be able to see what kind of seats they're sitting in. Uh, we're going to be able to let people see the quality of the food. But we can do it all in a, in a really fun, fun way, which is not possible in, a, in, a, in just a, uh, a magazine on the bookstalls. Is there real money to be made here, Richard? I mean, you, 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 you do delve into things that are uh, unexpected, like galactic, but you also are a very savvy businessman, so you clearly see uh, this as a sustainable business. Um, I have no idea whether we'll make money out of it. I hope, I hope um, it will pay the bills. I think if you create the best um, and if it's a really fun magazine, um, if it's one that, you know, that people are telling their friends about, um, it's only costing $2.99 a month. So uh, you know, I think word of mouth will get out and you know, hopefully we'll, we'll get many, many people wanting to subscribe to it. Bringing in Poppy Harlow now. So, Poppy, is this like video killed the radio star type of a situation? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it might be. What's interesting is Richard Branson is doing this, and we sort of know him, Kate, for uh, shaking up conventional industries, yeah. right? Look what he did to the music industry. Look what he did to the airline industry. And now he's doing it to publishers around the world. Uh, but what's interesting, too, is he's not the only mogul to do this. He is the first one to have a magazine that is only in an app and only on the iPad. But... Rupert Murdoch, the media mogul head of News Corp, is doing something similar. He's going to launch The Daily, a daily newspaper only on the iPad. Um, and, and I spoke to Richard Branson about that, and he said, you know, there have been all these headlines that it's the battle between myself and Rupert Murdoch. That's not necessarily true, but they're both starting off just with Apple, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, but what Branson said is, Kate, he's not going to stick just with the iPad. He's starting on it, and then they'll progress on to other tablets. But see, this wouldn't work on a Kindle, for example, that's black and white, so he has to wait for the technology to get there and then they'll move outside of just working with Apple but we'll see he clearly said he does not think the future of publishing is in print in any way shape or form